Well, I have been fortunate enough to be a four-time uh, astronaut. I was uh, in, in the space shuttle, first flew on Discovery, twice on Endeavour, and then uh, once on Columbia. But, uh, the last flight of Columbia to, to come home in one piece. The uh, every flight is a good flight. My first flight, I got to go on a spacewalk, and that was uh, fascinating. That did set me up to go and work on the International Space Station on the first assembly mission of the International Space Station. So that was really spectacular. The Russians put up one piece of that, and then we actually flew up the space shuttle, connected with it, uh, added some things to it, and left it working. And my, uh, what turned out to be my final flight in space was to the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope is an icon of science, of course. And for astronauts, <coughs> it's a particular mecca because it's a place that we go into space to fix something and make it even better. And so there's a term called Hubble Huggers, actually, who are those are people who, who really love the Hubble because of the, the fantastic pictures that it has taken and the, the, the wealth of information that we've managed to gather from those pictures. We were told, I'll admit, when we were preparing to go to the Hubble that it was a national treasure and that we shouldn't break it. It being worth on the order upwards of seven billion to twelve billion dollars at the time we went. It's worth more than that now perhaps. Uh, they did at the time jokingly laugh and say, if we did break it, we didn't need to come home. Uh, so we actually took that quite seriously, of course, because we knew how important it was. And so we trained very hard and we were very, very pleased to be able to say when we got back that not only had we not broken the Hubble, but we had <clears throat> upgraded its main power system. We were the first ones to ever turn it off while it was in space and then turn it back on. And you know how often it's when you turn a light bulb on that it goes pop. So we were all petrified. Because even if it wasn't our fault, if something had happened when we turned it back on, we were pretty sure they would blame us. In addition to that, the power system that we renovated, we also put in a brand new camera called the Advanced Camera for Surveys, which was incredibly more powerful. At the time when it went in, in 2002, it was a 16 megapixel camera that cost $70 million. It was the size of a refrigerator, weighed 800 pounds. And I was fortunate enough to be the one to put it in without breaking it. And so I was allowed to come back in the space shuttle at the end of the day and, uh, and enjoy a, a hot meal uh, for dinner. So again, the Hubble was a really spectacular mission to be on. All of them were, and it was really a pleasure and a treat for me as an American to get to go into space and to see our globe from that perspective.